Everybody wants a lady. Everybody wants a lady. Look, lady, she run for you. And she run against you. The lady, she run. She run. She run. Lady, look, she run for you. You working? Yep. Airport. International terminal. <clears throat> I'm in a hurry, too. What time's your flight? 9.30. Go ahead, you'll make it easy. One seventy two, out to McCarran. Picked a good time to go. Nobody leaves Vegas on Saturday night. Care if I smoke? Look, could you go any faster? Can't afford a ticket, mister. You got plenty of time. Listen, you really step on it for me. You get me out there in a hurry? This is for you. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Look, can you go any faster? Hey, I'm doing the best I can, pal, huh? Nobody takes this service road. It's a shortcut, I know. We'll be there in two minutes, pal. No sweat, all right? Drive it or park it, shithead. What airline you need? It doesn't matter. Just get me there and hurry it up. Around me, asshole. What the fuck is going on? Just move it. Hey, I do not want to get involved here, pal, all You're right? You're already involved. If they catch us, you're fucking dead. Now move it!
Police found a gun on the scene, but presently there are no leads. This is Cynthia Nicholson. If there are any further developments, we'll be back. Don't need to be a rocket scientist to figure who did that one, huh? Looks like the wise guys were out playing bumper cars tonight. I wonder what the poor bastard did. Well, he doesn't have to worry about it now. I don't know, Ernie. But whatever it was, he didn't get away with it, huh? I hear that. But they can get you anywhere, even in witness protection, they say. Yeah, I'm beat. I'm out of here. Margarita. I'll see you. Good idea. You look like shit. Don't try and cheer me up. See you tomorrow. <laughs> It's been a long time. I've missed you. Hmm. Couple months. Four. Really? Mm-hmm. I thought maybe you found someone new. No, you didn't. <laughs> and you have way too much confidence to worry about a thing like that. You know me so well. And I hardly know anything about you. <laughs> I don't know what kind of work you do. <laughs> I don't know where you live. And I have a feeling that your name isn't really your name. <laughs> you are the most secretive man I have ever met. Some people have to have secrets. I'm just one of them, that's all. Well, I'm not giving up. One of these days, you're going to wake up next to me. And I will know everything about you. God, that wouldn't be good for you to know everything about me. <laughs> God, I don't think I'd like that. No, <laughs> why not? People know too much about you. You become very vulnerable to them. And you can't ever allow that to happen. I'm falling asleep. You wore me out. Mm -hmm.
What can I do for you, Mr. Chambers? Two things I want, Eckhart. My money back, and you make this cabbie disappear. I don't want any loose ends. You see what I'm saying? Let me ask you something. Do you ever talk? You got this great reputation, a real heavyweight. East Coast, West Coast, the top guy. And you're more expensive than anyone else. Seems like you should say something every now and then, huh? If you'd hired me in the first place, your money never would have ended up in a cab at the airport. And you'd be home in bed now, instead of singing the blues. Okay. So what? You'll call me? Now there's a thought. Excuse me. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you, man. But uh, uh, can we step over here? Man? Where do you get? Do you know anything about this? You're supposed to get this free thing. Uh huh. And I just want. Is it down there? When you go down there, mm -hmm. pass that thing there. <laughs> what, 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 what do you What do you want? What do you think I want? A date? Oh shit! Some kind of fucking faggot. I want the wallet, the cash. Credit cards, Einstein. I might just blow your guts out through your shirt for the fun of it. With that? Yeah, with... Ah! 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 Help me, man! Ah! I can't see! I can't, I can't see! I can't see! Get a dog. You want to get that lady on Springmont Road? Hey, Call me hey, twice already, on, huh? On. Come on! Rodney. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, I was thinking about you, and I was close, so I'd drop in. Oh, yeah? Good. It's great to see you. Hey, I'll pick up line, too. 
So how's your sex life? Any new ladies? Uh, truth is, you can only afford them when you come around. Focus is so damned expensive now. I must have a fucking union. Yeah, inflation, I guess. It affects all areas of commerce. That was my thinking, too. So what can I do for you, pal? I'm looking for a driver with your company. You don't have someone on tonight that hasn't checked in in a while. Yeah, in fact, I do. Logan, I was wondering where that putz was. Well, maybe a picture help, too? Rodney, you just earned yourself a bonus. Thank you so much. Yeah, I keep this. Sure, you can keep that, too, if you want. Yeah, put it back in the file. Anytime. You know, Rodney, there's something about you that I like very much. You know what it is? No, what? Your total lack of curiosity. It's a quality I hope you never lose. Jerry, Jerry, Jerry. You are on a roll, aren't you? Yo, Davis, LVPD. We're looking for this guy. Maybe you've seen him. I wonder if you sold him a ticket tonight. Hasn't been through it tonight? Okay, thanks.
The next available train to Vancouver, Canada leaves in 45 minutes. Okay, and the major stops it makes along the way are? Let's see, uh... Stops in Salt Lake in about nine hours. Salt Lake, okay. Uh, great, one way to Vancouver. Fine. How much is that? Uh, $183. Wow. Uh, the name on the ticket is? Uh, Logan, Jerry Logan. That's fine. You should change. You have a nice trip. Thank you. Bye. Well, Red Cap, please report to baggage area one. Red Cap, baggage area one. Coffee? Yeah, thank you. Please. You want to eat something? Uh, no. You look beat. Rough night, huh? Yeah. Did you lose much? Hmm? I'm sorry, what? Vegas, son. Land of dreams, land of suckers. Yeah. Did you keep any of your money? Or did you lose it all? Actually, uh, I'm a little ahead so far. Well, let me give you some advice. Even if you're a little ahead, Quit. Take it from someone who knows. That's what I'm doing, just waiting on my train. Where are you headed? Salt Lake City. Uh-huh. It's not my home or anything. Just the next stop. I'm a little jumpy. Need a little sleep, that's all. That'll do it. It's time for me to hit it. Thanks. Coffee's only a buck. Don't remember me, okay? Lots of people come through here. Faces all run together after a while. You're all right. I just trust myself about people. You really waiting for a train? Yeah. You really going to Salt Lake? Yeah. Let me give you one more piece of advice. Sure. Don't be so honest with every waitress you meet. You got lucky this time. All passengers, the North Star Limited, with stops in Salt Lake, Boise, Portland, and Seattle, should prepare to board on Platform 7. back to sleep. All right, here's your ticket. Should be taken off in about 30 minutes from track number two. And that's it. Hello. Yes, sir. Detective Davis, LBPD. The train that just left, where's it going? The limited? Yeah. 
to Vancouver, but there are a lot of stops along the way. All the major cities. Mm-hmm, that's right. So is there any kind of trouble? Yeah, yeah, we're looking for this guy. His name is Jerry Logan. We have reason to believe he might be on that train. If he is, he probably bought his ticket here this evening. Well, if he did, it wasn't for me, but I just came on a while ago. You said his name's Logan? Mm-hmm. First name, Jerry. Jay? Uh-huh. You're right, Detective, there is. There's Jerry Logan on that train to Vancouver. Yeah. I thought you'd be, huh? You better be calling to tell me that Vegas is minus one cab driver, and you got a briefcase that belongs to me. Uh, you're half right. Vegas is definitely missing a cab driver. Just left town on a train. He got away with my money? That was close. I believe what's going on here is the thing you hate most in life. What the hell are you talking about? A gambler on a winning streak, of course. You know where he went? Bought a ticket to Vancouver. I seriously doubt he'll ever set foot there. Well, how do you know that? Logan thinks somebody will be after him. That's why he took the train. The train makes a lot of stops. He can get off at any of them, go to the local airport, and catch a plane to anywhere fast. That's what I think he'll do. He won't go to Vancouver, because he'll think the odds are good somebody will be waiting for him. OK? OK, OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what are you going to do? Get something to eat. Bye. Hold it. So you're a cop, huh? Mm hmm So you working or playing? Working. What, some trouble at one of the hotels? Oh, well, we're looking for a guy who'd think he got away on the train. No kidding. What'd he do? We have reason to believe he killed his wife. My God. What'd he look like? I've been here all night. I see him. Hey. I waited on this guy tonight. Really? Yeah. Yeah, I waited on him. He didn't say where he was going. As a matter of fact, he did. Well, where was it? Florida. Miami. Hey. Thanks a lot. You've been very helpful. Oh, you're Sandy. Oh, thanks. Good morning. Here, let me warm that up for you. I think you were telling me the truth last night about talking to the man I was looking for, but I think you lied about where you said he was going. No. Now, one time, if you tell me the truth, I'll pull you up and you'll be fine. If you lie, and I'll know you're lying, I'll let you fall. When they find you, they'll think you committed suicide. People do it up here all the time. You understand? Now, where was he going? So late. So late, Zinni. So late, please. Good. Thank you. No. Whoops. Just find a We're solution. We're only 14%. We're holding 14%. It doesn't get any better than that down here. We'll talk later. We don't have the cab driver yet. Are you close? We're getting there. Look, 
got somebody good on it. I just want to tell you, Maya, as an accountant, you're not bad. But as a person, you're a real piece of shit. I'm not the one who stole a million dollars from his employer, Al. Al, you did that. I did that. I think it's time you told me what's wrong, don't you? Nothing's wrong. How long have we been married, Al? Uh, come on, No. Al. You hardly sleep. You're nervous as hell, and you're drinking all the time. You come on. I got some trouble at the Pioneer. I took some money, Maya found out about it. We had this Japanese guy. From Tokyo. Heavy VIP. So he just deals with me, right? Unluckiest gambler I ever saw. By the time he's ready to go home, he owes a million at the cage. Brings the money to me. Cash. Do the paperwork on it. And he leaves. Without a receipt for the million. Who leaves that kind of money without a receipt? Roz, the guy's worth three billion. I'm thinking he doesn't care he lost the money. So I, I lock the money in the desk and I tell Maya to cancel the guy's markers. A little while later, the Japanese guy comes back for his receipt. He just forgot. I wasn't there. It was a money matter. So Alice sent him to Maya. Oh, my God. Maya gave him a receipt. Then he comes to me. Now he wants the money for himself or he's going to go to Carino. Give it to him. I tried. Except the guy he sent to pick it up tried to steal it. Better you don't know the details. The guy ended up leaving the money in a cab, and the cab he took off with it. I got someone looking for him now. Come here. Come here. What the hell was that for? For being stupid, that's what. We didn't need that million now. We were doing just fine. And now look. Pulling into Salt Lake City, sir. Hey, uh, uh, thank you. is already overbooked. Service I could get you on the one after that. Leaves at 9.30. me a Jerry Logan booked on a United commuter. He just booked a flight for L.A. at the Salt Lake City Airport. Even at 9.30 gate, 4B. You want a seat number? No, no, no. That's okay. Thank you very much. You've earned yourself a bonus. Jack Daniels in the rock with uh, the water back. Great, thank you. Want me to run you a tab or are you in a hurry? Uh, no, a tab's great. I think I'll have another at least. Rough day already? Yeah. Look at the crowd in here. You mind if I sit 
Go ahead. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Golly, man. I don't believe this. <laughs> hey, look at this. Look at this. Hey, hey, look at that. What's that? Ah. Feel that? That's a knife, Mr. Logan. Look at the paper. Act like you're reading it. Listen, and keep your mouth shut. If you do anything other than what I tell you, I'll stick you right here at this table, and no one in this room will have the time or the balls to stop. It. Look at the fucking paper. So, you have some money that doesn't belong to you. I'm here to get that money, and that's all I'm here for. Now, we're going to go out of here, and you're going to show me that money. And if it's all there, you can walk away. And consider yourself a lucky man, because frankly, if it was my money, you'd be dead tonight. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Good. OK. Let's go. Come on. 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 What the hell is going on? Come on, come on, come on, come on, What? What the hell is going on? Come on, 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 Okay, the sinks are on the right, the table here on the left. Here, let me get that for you. Thank you. Okay, do you need a stall or a urinal? Uh, stall. Okay. Thank you. Okay, I'll be right here, Mr. Stevens. Just to the right here. The meeting went fine. Hey, Mr. Logan, I'm going to have you have a seat right over here. And I'll be back to get you right before pre boarding. Thank you. Jerry! How you doing? Logan, we're ready for free boarding. Here, I'll get that for you. Thank you. Sure glad to have you on board today. We're all sold out. See you, Jer. Derek. This is Eckhart. I'm sending you a fax. Yeah, he's on his way to L.A. now. I'm gonna need your help on this.
Excuse me, you working? Yes, sir. Where to, pal? First time in town. You know a good hotel? I mean expensive and well-known, or inexpensive and not so well-known, but good service. That's the one. You ask the right man, sport. <laughs> Care if I smoke? Your lungs. So how far is this place? Yeah, it's not too far. What's the name of this hotel we're going to? It's called um, Mills House. A weird kind of place, but it's neat and clean. It's great. <laughs> kind of out of the way, isn't it? Yeah, we're almost there. So you from L.A. originally? No. No? From back east. I understand you're from Las Vegas. Right, Jerry? Who the hell are you? Welcome to Mills House. I'm Derek Mills, your host. OK. Very slowly now. Out. Nice and easy. Don't try anything funny. I'll get the door, Jerry. Right over here to the right. You can sit down if you want. I'll take this. We have a while to wait. You want a drink? Uh, sure. Let me tell you something first, just so you'll know how things stand. You just relax, stay where you are. Don't cause any trouble. We'll be fine. If you try anything, anything, I promise I'll shoot you. I won't kill you, but I will shoot you, and then you'll still have quite a while to wait, only you'll be waiting in a great deal of pain. You understand? Yeah. Good. Good. So, what do you want to drink? Uh, bourbon. Bourbon? Figured you for a scotch man. Nope. Bourbon. You're in a real mess, Jerry. You ever done anything like this before? Stolen money, I mean? I didn't think so. Maybe you can tell. I really don't drive a cab, either. I'm sort of, uh, in collection. <laughs> <laughs> you can wait down there if you want. How did you, um, fix it so you'd pick me up? No, it wasn't hard. I knew where you'd be coming out. I slipped a few guys some bills. Sofa's fine. Well, who told you to wait for me? That, uh, that guy in... That guy in Salt Lake? Eckert. David Eckert. Oh, he's a real pro, maybe the best. One thing for sure, they put Eckert on you. You made someone big, real mad. We're old friends, David and me. We worked together quite a few times. How much is he paying you? <laughs> <laughs> Jerry, you are not in a position to bargain. And if I let you go, I'd have Eckert to deal with. Uh, not that I'm afraid of him, but why make trouble? You don't strike me as a thief. I didn't even want the money. Would have been my ass either way. How's your drink? Another? Yeah. Please. Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Oh, something I gotta do first. Here. 
you're awake. Oh. Let me explain. Eckert says you have a real talent for running away. He wanted me to fix it so you won't do that anymore. You missed lunch. We don't have time for any more drinks. But don't worry. You're going to be in on the entertainment. Well, we got to hurry with this. We don't want to get in cold. thing, pain, how much a man can take, what it does to him. Did you know that the only time a lot of people are really alive and in touch with their feelings is uh, when they're in pain? Ah, later, you think about this, you'll understand. Go, stash. He's fixing dialing. 100 milligrams up in the tank. How are you feeling, Mr. Logan? Where am I? You're at St. Mary. The emergency crew found you passed out on the street. You've got some pretty serious burns, Mr. Logan. We almost lost you. How do you know my name? 
Yeah, look at your wallet in ER. Standard procedure. Anyway, you're doing a lot better now. With a couple of weeks of rest... I had a bag. Yes, your bag and your clothes, everything is in the closet. You're going to be all right, Mr. Logan. Jerry. Okay. Jerry. I'm Chris. Chris Altman. How long have I been here? He came in yesterday. So, how'd you hurt your feet? I, um... I was, um... Boiling some water for some coffee, and I knocked it over. Spilled it. Oh. Chart says Las Vegas. Any family out there? No. Not anywhere else. Not expecting many visitors, huh? You'll have to do, Chris. Jerry, I just want you to know you're safe here. You're pretty doped up. You talked a little. What did I say? You just sounded scared. There was nobody in your corner. You're a nice lady. You get some rest. I'll look in on you later. I'll be here. Dr. Ackerman, radiologist. Dr. Ackerman, radiologist. <laughs> David, old sport. Long time. What happened, Derek? Afraid I screwed up. I gave him a hot foot. Why'd you untie him? I was sure he wasn't going anywhere. Seems like your cab driver's a bit tougher than he looks. Yeah, I'm checking every burn unit inside of 10 miles. He can't get far. Don't worry, David. We'll find him. I already got eyes looking all over the city for him. Five grand to the winner. This is on me, of course. Call me if you get anything. David. Yeah? We'll be just you and me one day, won't it? Like those Western movies, the two gunfighters. <laughs> How do you think it'll end? Very quickly, Derek. Excuse me. I'm looking for a patient named Jerry Logan. His feet were burned. Are you family? Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm a cousin from Vegas. I'll check for you in a moment. I, uh, I have to look in on a patient first. Okay. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. Be up. Just checking my stuff. I'm feeling a lot better. You're, uh, you're pretty good at what you do. Jerry, there's a man here to see you. Well dressed. He uh, says he's your cousin from Vegas. I can call the cops. There's no cops. I gotta get out of here. You're no shame to sleep. This paper is form, something I have to sign, right? Oh, God. Oh, my good work. You belong in a hospital. He will check every hospital. Get me to a hotel. I'm not kidding, Jerry. If you don't get proper treatment, you could die. He finds me, I will die. Just get me to a hotel, change my bandage, just get me some medicine, I will pay you. Excuse me. Uh... Five thousand dollars, help me, please. Look, I'd like some help. Ten thousand. Jerry. $15,000, will you help me, please? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Sorry, right, Mrs. Johnson. Just put your gown back on. Sorry, but I gotta find my cousin. He was burned pretty bad. What did you say his name was? Logan. Jerry Logan. His feet were burned real bad. Burned feet. Oh, I remember him. Um, young guy, good looking. Mm hmm. Yeah, um, the burns were too bad for us to handle. We had him transferred to Mercy's Burn Unit. Mercy's Burn Unit. Okay. Oh, it's uh, across town on Fifth. 
Mercy Spurn unit, cross town on fifth. Thank you very much. Thanks. Mm -hmm. There's the hotel about ten minutes away. Look, Jerry, I'm not in this for the long haul. I'll help you check into your room. I'll do with your bandages and your medication, and then you're on your own. Careful, Jerry. Roll over and drop your pants. Huh? You heard me. Oh. Under other circumstances, I would notice that you have a cute behind. Yeah, what's wrong with these circumstances? man who's after you. The less you know, the safer you are. Well, he didn't look like a cop, and you sure don't act like a crook. I'm not. I'm a cab driver. I'm just a cab driver. With the worst streak of luck imaginable. <laughs> For Altman? She's night nursing some guy over the Continental. What with the burnt feet? Not me. Got a date. Yeah? David. Derek. I guess I owe myself five grand. He's holed up at the Continental. Not ten minutes from here. Him and a nice. On my way. Excuse me. Take a look at that guy, huh? Look, Chris, you've been great. You, I owe you my life. But after we eat, you should go. It's not safe to be around me. You need help. I'll be all right. You gave me a good start. OK.
Where's the girl? She's not here. She went home. I want my money, you fucking thief. I don't get my money now. You die now. Where's my money? She went home. Come on out here, baby. mob guy. A mob guy? Yes, I took some money. Took some money? I took some money. A lot of money? I don't know. Is a million a lot? So what now? We need a plan. We can't just drive. I did not want to get you involved in this. It's a little late for that. You need new bandages. I'm not going back to that hospital. Fine. I've got some stuff at my house. First, we're going to the bank. I want that stuff in a safe deposit box. You don't have time to stop by the bank. It's insurance. Till he gets his money, he needs us alive. What I need are the airports, bus stations, train stations, car rental agencies watched. I don't think he'll stay here. You're forgetting about something, aren't you? What's that? A nice. What about her? I found out where she lives. This running around isn't helping these burns. You need rest. Yeah. After I figure out our next step and get moving. Sorry, Chris. What for? This, everything, getting you involved. You don't deserve this. Well, we don't always get what we deserve. Ain't that the truth?
Don't be ridiculous. He won't kill me. Not right away. Just because he wouldn't get the money. I'll offer him a deal for half a million. Maybe he'll let me disappear. Sure, you can't be serious. He'd just take the money and kill us both. Not if I kill him first. Chris, I've never done anything my whole life. I've never had anything to look forward to, except now. If I don't, besides, if I didn't, I wouldn't get to see you. Anything stupid. If I'd wanted you dead, I would have shot you both while you were sleeping. You want to sit down? Money's in the safe deposit box at a bank. You know, I'm really losing patience with you. Receipts in my pocket. You want to see it? Jerry, you okay? I think your nurse just woke up. Let me stop her. She's got no part of this. Don't come out until I tell you. Oh, shit. He's here. Stay here. Jerry, what the oh, oh. oh. One of the mercies for a unit. I'm tired of messing with you. Now we're going to find something, tie her up. And then we're going to sit here and wait for the bank to open. If you do anything there, you won't see a fucking dime, because I won't care what happens to me. I want to make a deal. Dark. Outside, she stays here. What makes you think I could go back to who hired me with only half the money? Because you never found me. Half a million in cash. But you leave us alone. I go get the money by myself. We meet back here tonight. You a gambler, Jerry? No. Man, you should have been. I've got something I've got to take care of this evening, so I'll be back later. Right now, you know I've got eyes all over the city. So I have the money ready. And Jerry, the money aside, God help you and the bitch if you try to run. My sister's address and phone number for work. I don't want to know exactly where you are. Just the town's good. I'll, I'll get word to you and the personals in the Fort Worth paper. All right, when it's safe. When it's, it's over. All right. Jerry.
hell are you doing? I wanted you to know I found that cab driver. You had a lot of nerve, that guy, breaking into my house. What the? Mr. Garino is very disappointed. Oh, honey. <laughs> Ross! Night, Ross. No! Night, no! Now. you have to bring me all the way out here to tell me about the chambers? Oh, it pays to be careful about this sort of thing. Well, did you do them? Yes, sir, I did this evening. However, Mr. Garino feels that something's been forgotten. And that is that the one thing that he hates more than a thief is oh, a fucking snitch. Excuse me, I don't mean to interrupt, but I wanted to let you know I just came from the ranch and the two stallions and the mare have been taken care of. That's wonderful, but I understand we had a runaway at Hollywood Park. Yes, sir, he's back in the stable. He wasn't feeling well. He's with the vet. I'd appreciate it if you'd look on him later for me. Yes, sir, I'll go this evening. Thank you, David. Uh, by the way, there's someone here I'd like you to meet. This is Selena. Be back in town tomorrow evening. I'll call you for dinner. Jerry? thinking you were smart when all you were was lucky just on a roll oh we had a deal if there was never going to be any deal with you the money you took belongs to me i'm going to take the half you got here now tomorrow we'll go to the bank get the other half in the meantime mills will stay here with your girlfriend <laughs> didn't make a withdrawal today you thought we were going to make a deal tonight. How'd you plan on making up without the money? Never planned on making a deal. What was your plan, Jer? Kill you. You are a player, aren't you? But then again, so am I, and I know you're lying. You did not go all the way to that bank and come out with nothing. Where's the bag? I told you, you stupid fuck. Don't oh. test my good humor, Jerry. I am already somewhat peeved with you. Find the bag. Oh, okay. Jerry, you all right? Where's the money? 
What are you, deaf and stupid? I told you I didn't get it. Do it. Okay? I didn't hit you, did I? Well, looks like I'm gonna have to come down and get you. I mean, I could throw your girlfriend's head down there, and I know you give it up, but uh -uh. I like it better this way. Jerry, guess what? No gun. Oh, well. Guns don't work in the dark anyway. But I do have something that does.
Hi, we're on the uh, flight to Rio. Mr. Jack Mallory and Ms. Kelly Ross, please. That's two first class to Rio? Yeah. And how will you be paying for that today? Cash. Rio, huh? You think they got casinos in Rio? Casinos? <laughs> I thought that you didn't gamble. I know, but uh, I feel lucky.